Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today I have done the program on automated warehouse where uh, where this Yolo crane will take boxes from this conveyor and uh, put those boxes onto these racks. There are 54 racks here. This is the factory I have seen and here I have the program with me. Uh, this network 2 is for the start switch. There are two different mode. One, and one is load mode and another is unload mode. So what do I mean by load and unload? Load means uh, this crane will take the boxes from this conveyor, the first conveyor, and uh, and put those boxes in this in this racks. There are 54 racks here, and after the after the racks ra racks are filled, uh, I can also unload those boxes from this uh, from these racks and and uh, send those boxes on the second conveyor. This is the second conveyor, the conveyor which is in the back. That's the second conveyor. So. Let me zoom out the electric switch board first. I have the start button. If you press this switch, the system will start. But you have to put the system, uh, put the system into load mode. Then you can press the start button. Here I have the stop switch. Uh, you can uh, pause the system uh, in any situation you want to. And if uh, if you again uh, press this switch, the system will again start to run from 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 where you left off. This is the reset button. If you press this switch, the whole system will reset. You have to uh, start the start the system again from the from the beginning. So here, this is the load mode and unload mode. Uh, if I uh, if I switch into load mode, that uh, the boxes will uh, the crane this yellow crane uh, this yellow crane will take the take the boxes from the first conveyor and put those boxes in onto the racks. And if I if I uh, after after do after finishing after uh, fill, filling up all the racks you can put the system into unload mode and if you press the start button again the crane will take the boxes from those racks and put uh, and send those boxes onto the second conveyor this is the the conveyor which is in the back is the second conveyor so when you are unloading the boxes the the crane will go all the way up number 54 racks this is the 54th rack uh, if you uh, if you put the system in into unload mode and again press the start button the crane will come all the way up and take the box from from this rack and uh, send it onto the second conveyor that's the unload mode so this network 2 is for the start switch uh, start switch or start the system and this network 3 is for the red switch with the pause or a stop switch stop switch and network 4 network 4 is for uh, is for starting the NTN load conveyor which one is the NTN load conveyor so this the second part of this uh, conveyor one is the load conveyor in the and the first part is the entry conveyor so if I press the start button the entry NTN load conveyor will start so this is only for only for loading the boxes onto the racks and in the network network 5 uh, network 5 uh, the crane will take the boxes in so that's called the fork so which is the let me sh show you which one is the fork uh, okay let's start the system put the system into load mode then uh, reset the system Reset the system and then press the uh, press the start button. So this so this black thing which have come forward these are the forks. So this part is only for uh, taking the boxes in and putting them onto the racks. So those are the forks so these foxes are can come forward and go backward so let's uh, stop the system so fox left forward that means you are taking the boxes in so this part is only for taking the boxes in and putting those onto the onto the racks Network 6, network 6 is for lifting the boxes up. So when, uh, so when uh, this crane taking in the box, 
let me press the start button so when the train is taking the box in the fork is coming forward taking the boxes in then moving up moving up a bit that is that is lifting so, so that is lifting so here i have done uh, done the program for lifting the boxes up so network that is network 6 and network 7 is for loading those boxes on the racks so here i have the counter which are counting the number of boxes that are uh, that are going into the into the box of the crane so when the crane taking the boxes in and lifting up then you are getting a getting a pulse here that means then you are uh, then then you are counting a box that one box has, has entered into the crane so this is the counter to take the boxes in and here three means i am sending the three sending the three uh, to the uh, to the target position the target position of the crane target position of the crane means uh, uh, this if I if I send three in the target position of the crane that means this crane will move to the rack number three rack number three and uh, uh, put the boxes onto the rack number three if I uh, inject four uh, by count uh, by increasing the number of the counter then this crane will go to the uh, go to the rack number four and uh, put the put that box on the on the rack number four so that is what I have done uh, with the SR and move function and this is the this this uh, this input is uh, is from the counter so this is for uh, taking the boxes in and moving uh, moving those boxes onto the desired position and network 8 is uh, network 8 has two part cause uh, when when I am putting those boxes on the on the racks the fork the fork is also moving backward and when I am also unloading those boxes from the racks it is uh, the fork which is moving backward taking in the boxes from the uh, from the racks and again coming down here and putting those boxes onto the second conveyor so the the fork is moving backward twice once here uh, once once when the box are a box uh, when the when the crane is taking the uh, taking the boxes into the crane and again when the boxes when this crane uh, leaving those boxes onto the second conveyor so the backward uh, backward position is uh, the, the backward position of the crane is acti uh, is activated twice so that is why i have the load position and the unload position both are both are present in the forks right backward so when the crane is putting those boxes onto the rack so that's the load position and again when the box uh, when the crane is taking those boxes in from the racks and putting those onto the second conveyor that's the there's the unload position so that is why i have the load uh, load mode and the and the unload mode also present in the in the uh, fox right or fox backward so this part is for the fox backward and here i have the unload unload boxes from the racks unload boxes so what i have told is when all the racks are filled up uh, i put the system into unload i put the system into system into unload mode then press the uh, press the start button the uh, the crane will move Move to the 54th number of 54th number of rack and take the boxes in and put uh, and put the put the box or leave the box leave the leave that box 54th number box on the on the second conveyor or the exit conveyor the second conveyor or the conveyor which one is in the back is the second conveyor so this part is for uh, unloading the boxes from the racks and putting uh, putting those boxes onto the exit conveyor or to the second conveyor and last we have the exit conveyor so exit conveyor when the uh, when the exit conveyor or the unload conveyor this part which one is at the back of the second conveyor is the exit conveyor and this part of the second conveyor is the 
unload conveyor so this uh, this network 10 is for uh, is for unloading the boxes so that's the all 10 network for loading those boxes onto the racks and unloading the boxes from the racks so let's go to the factory i have seen uh, let's run the system okay let's put the system into uh, load mode press the reset switch and press the start button then let's go to the uh, load view this is the load view where the boxes will uh, move into the crane and the crane will take those boxes and move those boxes onto the racks so this is the load mode So there are 54 racks so it will take up to 15 minutes to fill up all the racks so what I will do is uh, when the crane will uh, come close to the 54th number of racks then I will show you guys uh, again again uh, again the scene of the factory IO so let's skip this part for now so the crane has filled up all the 54 racks now now what I will do is uh, go to uh, zoom in the electric board uh, put the system into unload mode then press the start button when I will press the start button the crane will go all the way up to the 54th number of box and it will take uh, the crane will take in the take in the box and put it onto the exit conveyor so let's press the start button and go to the unload view so the crane went all the way up to the 54th number of the 54th number of rack and take the box in and it will move the rack on the exit conveyor so that is how you are unloading the unloading the boxes from the racks so that's the load and unload mode So that is all from me today. I will see you guys in the next video with a new program. So till then take care. Goodbye.